You'll notice in this video, like many of my other videos, I'm switching camera angles. But unlike my other videos, I'm not cutting to these different cameras in post. I'm actually doing it live. We'll do it live! Additionally, you'll notice this call to action pop up on the screen. Again, this is not something I added after I filmed my video. I'm once again doing this live. But how? I am using the Elgato Stream Deck pedal. Let me show you how it works and why you might want to buy one. But first, subscribe. First things first, Elgato did not send me this. I paid for this pedal with my own money, so all these thoughts and opinions are fully mine. However, click the affiliate link if you want to check out the Elgato Stream Deck pedal down in the description because that helps me out a lot. And who am I? Well, my name is Patrick and I help everyday creators like you and me succeed. And so far, I am loving this pedal from Elgato, which isn't surprising at all. Elgato keeps releasing well-made, feature-rich products, many of which focus on content creators, gamers, and live streamers, but you'll find Elgato products in all sorts of scenarios. Elgato has great cameras and mics, and they're all high quality and they're easy to use and cost effective. Now, Elgato did just release a new teleprompter that I cannot wait to get my hands on. Elgato, if you're listening, I'm open to sponsorships. And then there's the Stream Deck, which can be found in all sorts of workflows where automation is needed. I have one on my desk and it allows me to move between scenes in my live streaming software, mute my mic when recording a podcast and perform like all sorts of tasks quickly without ever having to move my mouse to click something in whatever software I'm using. Along with being a content creator, I'm also a worship pastor at a church and you're gonna find two stream decks in our tech booth that help us do things like cue lights or change slides in our presentation software, just to name a couple of tasks. The pedal we're looking at today from Elgato also holds that same Stream Deck title in its name. However, the Stream Deck pedal is far more a simple device than the customizable Stream Decks you may have used in the past on your desk. You're going to find these on desks all over the world, and now you're going to find this pedal under desks all over the world. I can show you the Beyond the pedal itself, you won't find much else in the box besides cables and some additional springs because you can change the tension of how sensitive the pedal is. But I kept mine the same out of the box as is. I didn't change a thing, but you can do that if you like. Now, it needs to be said that this is not the only pedal controller for content creators out there. For instance, AirTurn is a company that I've used for quite some time. They make rugged products that will allow you to wirelessly uh, turn pages in a document via Bluetooth or even using a USB-C cable. Uh, it'll allow you to start and stop your teleprompter like I'm using it for right now. But what I'm finding is that Elgato has approached their pedal similarly to how Apple approaches its products. Let me tell you what I mean. It's fair to say that many other companies that make phones and computers hastily pack more features into their products than Apple originally does. However, when Apple finally adds those same features to their products, it's normally done, in my opinion, with much higher standards. They take time on research and development, and that's kind of frustrating for the user because we want those features, but it shows that they've taken time because things work pretty flawlessly. So out of the box, the Elgato Stream Deck pedal seems simple, but once you begin to use it, you see how feature rich it is and it doesn't run into similar problems you'll find in other pedal controllers for streaming software and the like. So if you've used something like the Stream Deck before, setting up the Stream Deck pedal is a breeze and it's completely customizable using Elgato software. Actually, if you already have a Stream Deck on your desk, you can just copy and paste your settings from your regular Stream Deck into the pedal. Now the pedal has less buttons, but you can just copy settings from one right to the other. So I'm currently looking at my Stream Deck that's on my desk and the buttons I have customized to be used with that. But if you have the latest version of the Stream Deck software and you plug your new Stream Deck pedal into your computer, you will click where it says Stream Deck and see that the Stream Deck pedal just automatically shows up. And right here, you have three buttons to work with. And you can set them up just like you would a regular Stream Deck to do all sorts of things. Now, admittedly, I'm a gear guy. I love gear. Uh, I love having all the tech all the time, but there's something beautiful about the Stream Deck pedal's simplicity. If it had any more buttons, it would require you to kind of look before um, tapping your foot on one of those buttons. So I think the simplicity is great because it limits you just to those important things that always need to live under your desk. So let's get started with this thing. I see myself using the Stream Deck pedal mainly for live streaming and remote podcasting using software like Ecamm Live, which I'm looking at right now. And as I showed you before, I would want to use my pedal to 
cut between scenes, mute my mic, and probably play animations that come on the screen to allow people to know where they can subscribe, find me on Instagram, things like that. So I've opened the Elgato software, which I downloaded from their website, and I've plugged my pedal into my computer. So all I need to do is navigate to the action I wanna use and drop it onto one of these pedals. So I find the action I want, like play an animation, I drop it onto this button, and right down here, if there are any additional selections you need to make, they will be shown to you. Title, play, uh, what do I wanna play? Well, I wanna play this one.mov, which is right here in these overlays. Since I've dropped that action onto this button, when I click my pedal all the way to the right, Again, the animation pops up. It's as simple as that. Wow. And even though it's simple, this stuff matters because I'm able to make changes to my live stream on the fly or my remote podcast on the fly without disengaging and looking away to grab my mouse or click a button. I'm looking straight down the lens while making these changes. My hands are not disengaged. They're engaged, showing excitement. I'm not sure what to do with my hands. You're not gonna see me fumbling around for buttons because they're right under here and I'm using my feet to click them. So for me, this is a huge win because it solves a specific problem that I have. It meets a need that I have as a creator, but some of you might be thinking, well, Patrick, I actually need more buttons. I need more functionality. Three isn't gonna cut it. Well, I agree with you. I need to do more than what these three buttons can do in a live stream, but these three buttons are what I use the most. For everything else, I can just use an additional stream deck or just click things with your mouse. You're not limited to just using one stream deck device at a time. So on my desk, again, I have this Stream Deck, and below my desk, I have the Stream Deck pedal. And I'm constantly going to be using each one for different functions, but the things that I need all the time, those main three buttons, down below, so I remain engaged with my audience. And the Stream Deck pedal comes in just under 100 bucks. Now on Black Friday, I got it for 70 bucks, which is a great price. I, I was shocked by this. I thought that the Stream Deck pedal, seeing it how well built it was and how big it was, would come at a higher cost, but with the simplicity of its design, it comes in lower than expected, which is a win for everybody. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this isn't just a review. I actually, after playing with this thing, plan on keeping it. And I'm gonna use it frequently, like I said. I'm not sponsored, Elgato didn't send me this. I paid for the Stream Deck myself, but if you're interested in the Stream Deck pedal, if you're interested in this Stream Deck I have right here on my desk, or even this mic I'm using or computer I'm using, use those affiliate links in the description of this video. They really help me out and you're gonna see some really cool gear at lower prices than you expected. Oh, and while we're clicking on things, don't leave without clicking on this video.